Hello, I'm James Preston for Kaokai Media and welcome to another edition of Executive Corner Expert Talks. In this edition, I'll be sitting down with Patrick Henry, the CEO of Grow Guru, a company focused on assisting farmers through modern technology. Patrick, it's great to have you here with us today. Uh, thanks for having me on the show, James. No, it's an absolute pleasure. Uh, Patrick, take us through Grow Guru. What exactly is it that your company does? Yeah, Groger is really all about strategic water management for commercial farmers. Uh, so we help farmers make more money by increasing crop yield and more efficiently using water and other scarce resources like fertilizer and energy in a more efficient and more sustainable way. Well, Patrick, there's been a lot of discussion surrounding the concept of smart farms over the past few years. What does an ideal smart farm actually look like, though? Yeah, I mean, what makes a farm smart, so to speak, is the adoption of digital technologies to improve efficiency. Um, and, you know, if you look at, you know, from a global standpoint, you know, 70% of the world's fresh water supply is used for agriculture irrigation, and we need to increase the amount of food by 70% by 2050 just to keep pace with population growth. So the only way to do that, because clearly the math doesn't work, is to adopt technologies to make farmers more efficient. Well, Patrick, we'll touch on that population crisis in terms of food output in just a moment, but I want to focus on the technology itself to start with. When we think of farming technology, we often think of machinery, but cloud-based software and applications and artificial intelligence, those seem to be the things really coming to the fore more recently. How much are those technologies being utilised at present, and is there more scope to integrate them? Yeah, I mean, precision agriculture is still at an early phase of adoption in, in farming on a global basis. In the United States, it's used uh, more extensively, and Australia it's moved, used more extensively as well because, you know, just the water challenges there, and Israel, uh, where there's been huge water challenges there. So as you see kind of those things emerging in more and more geographies, these technologies become more and more important. In the U.S. market, uh, as far as the technologies that we offer, there's currently only about 10 to 15 percent market penetration. So it's still a big, big market in front of us. So, Patrick, what are the kinds of technology that you offer? Yeah, so what we're doing is it's all about uh, making farmers more efficient with, with water and um, basically doing water monitoring and water management. So we have a hardware solution that goes in the ground next to the root zone of the crop. And then we pass that data up to the cloud where we add machine learning, artificial intelligence, and other data sources like weather forecast, how much water is being applied, what we expect from a rainfall standpoint. And then we make recommendations to farmers about when and how much to irrigate uh, via a very simple, intuitive, farmer-friendly user interface that they can access on their tablet or computer or mobile device. Now, in terms of entry point, is this something that a lot of smaller farms could potentially get involved with, or is it mainly for those uh, much larger producers? Yeah, it's more for commercial farmers in the permanent crop business, what they call perennial crops, which is fruit and nut trees, vineyards. Uh, typical minimum acreage is between 20 and 40 acres. And then in uh, field crops, you know, like cotton, uh, corn, soybeans, the typical minimum acreage is typically about 100 acres. So not really for real kind of small farms, but more for commercial farmers. Now you were alluding to this a little earlier in our chat here about uh, the population growth and trying to meet that growing demand. What should agricultural businesses be focusing on to maximize their output? Is it all about that water usage? Yeah, I mean, it's a combination of things. Now, there is no silver bullet that's going to solve the problem completely. I mean, there's issues with food waste. There's issues with transportation. There's issues with kind of the microbiome, how you're, how you're being a good steward of the soil and, and, and fertilizers and seeds. And then there's irrigation management. Um, so really, we're, we're focused on one part of the overall problem. Uh, farmers that use our solution get about a 10 to 20 percent increase in crop yield and at the same time about a 10 to 20 percent savings on input costs including water. So think about it like a 30 percent plus water efficiency improvement but um, the ability to really get more food at the same time as well. And is it a demand that you think that we can ever actually reasonably manage to achieve that extra 70 percent or is that pie in the sky kind of ideas? 
Yeah, I mean, I never underestimate the ability of getting um, getting there with new technologies. If you look at the last hundred years, um, nobody ever thought that we'd be able to feed the current population. But there's continue to be adaptation adaptation of new technologies, new seeds, new hybrids, new fertilizers, you know, crop rotations, a lot of different things. And I'm an optimist, so I think we will get there. Uh, but it's, it, again, it's not going to be a silver bullet. There's not going to be one thing that solves this problem. It's going to be a combination of new technologies and new processes and new approaches. Now, what are some key products that set GrowGuru apart from your competitors? Yeah, I mean, two main things. Um, the first is hardware-based, where we've developed a proprietary, now patented, wireless underground technology. We call it the Wireless Underground System, or the WUGS. And that enables us to permanently install soil moisture probes, even in annual field crops. All of the competitive alternatives need to be annually installed and removed, uh, which is very expensive, very cumbersome, um, and really very difficult to do in scale. So we offer about a 30% improvement in scalability based on that. Um, the other thing that we're doing is crop science in the cloud or agronomy in the cloud, which is really the application of machine learning and artificial intelligence which is a combination of what we know about uh, crop science and water management combined with algorithms that help farmers uh, get better insights uh, from the data that they're getting out of the ground and, and the data in the cloud. Look, obviously technology is great, but one thing that technology needs is ongoing maintenance. Is that part of the product that you provide? Do you also look to take care of people who have put that money into investing in what you do? Yeah, I mean, the key is to have a, a virtually maintenance-free solution. I mean, that's what's going to make it easy for farmers to use. So our hardware is rock solid, very robust, and um, at least in the United States, you know, there's now pretty extensive deployment of high-speed broadband, 4G technology. Uh, there's, you know, very um, cost-effective as well as reliable cloud-based computing from guys like Google and Amazon Web Services and Microsoft. So a lot of the reliability concerns that may have existed, you know, five or 10 years ago have now been resolved from an ecosystem standpoint. And what we've done is also ensure the reliability by having a permanent install as opposed to something you have to annually install and remove. Well, Patrick, it's been really interesting chatting to you today about Grow Guru. What does the rest of 2022 have in store for the company? Yeah, I mean, we've kind of weathered the COVID storm, which was, you know, definitely a challenge for us. A lot of our competitors um, went out of business. You know, some got acquired by other other people in the, in the market space, some competitors, some larger companies. So we've weathered the storm. Um, we've used that as an opportunity to increase our market presence, increase our market footprint. So now we have over 100,000 acres under management. Our existing customers have a million deployable acres. Our existing dealer network has 5 million deployable acres. So we, we doubled our subscriber base last year, and we're expecting to double more than double again this year. Well, I'll be keeping my fingers crossed for you. It sounds like you're doing some great things in the agricultural space. Patrick, thanks so much for your time today. Thank you so much for having me on. Well, that's Patrick Henry, the CEO of Grow Guru. And if you missed any part of that chat, you can catch the whole interview on Kaukai Media's YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe. I'm James reminding you to stay apprised and invest wise.